This is JC Vintage Eleven back here in a video. Your WWE Shop Champion. All right, guys, we're gonna get right in this video. This is my WWE T-shirt collection. This is all part of Collection Week. Uh, collection Week's where I show you my collection without giving you a room tour. I don't want to give you a room tour until August because August is when I'm gonna have everything done. In August, that's when I'll be uh, buying some more stuff to put in the room and everything. It'll actually be finished because of my birthday. I'll get uh, gift cards and uh, money from uh, friends and family and I'll be buying some more wrestling stuff. So anyway, I have a lot of t-shirts, so we better get right in this video, guys. So um, so I have like, uh, how many stacks? I have? I have two stacks. Okay, the first stack is t-shirts I will not or cannot wear. Either t-shirts I hate or they're too small. And I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you which stack and when I start the next stack and all that. But anyway, we're going to start off with the t-shirts I do not like or I cannot wear. Starting off, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is a very uh, famous shirt for uh, CM Punk's pipe bomb that he did on Raw. Uh, it says Stone Cold on the front on the back. It says stopping mud holes and walking them dry since 1995. That's a very cool shirt. Just wish it still fit. Uh, this is a men's small. Just wish I would have got a bigger size. And it's a sleeveless shirt. Like I didn't cut them. That's the way they uh, they make them. I guess. I know that. I know they had normal T-shirts too. I should have got one of those. But I think this was on sale. Okay. So next shirt. Cannot wear it either because it's too small. I'll get this one at Kmart. It has like CM Punk, John Cena, Sheamus, Randy Orton, and Rey Mysterio on it. So it might be worth something since uh, Rey Mysterio and CM Punk are on it. Um, again, I can't wear this one. It's too small. Uh, superstar shirt. Uh, it has uh, superstars on it. Uh, and let's see what else. Um, this shirt, I can actually wear this shirt. I actually wear, wear this shirt a lot. I don't know why it's in the stack. Uh, it's my own t-shirt. Well, I own all these t-shirts, but it's like my t-shirt of me. The Lightning t-shirt. Lightning Mania. <laughs> I'm going to keep this one up here because I might wear that later. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, this one. It does not fit, and I wouldn't wear it if it even did fit. John Cena uh, and on the back. Well, on the front it says John Cena. John Cena approved. Hustle, loyalty, respect. On the back it says never give up with an old WWE logo. Uh, I got this one actually in Dollywood. I don't know if you guys have heard of Dollywood. Dolly Pardons theme park. But uh, anyway, uh, that's uh, I think I paid out of the ass for this thing. I think this thing was like freaking $30. Like, I mean, it's not even an official WWE t-shirt. It's just like a knockoff. Uh, what else we got? I actually got this one pretty recently. Uh, never give up. Hustle, loyalty, respect. You can't see me. I don't know why I got this. I'm not really like a Cena fan anymore. I used to be a huge Cena mark, as you guys know. I Actually, I think I got this one in May 2014. I think I just picked it up because it's like, uh, it's pretty cool. It actually looks like him. It doesn't look like fake. Uh, well, I think I actually picked this up because I was actually a Cena fan in... Uh, 2014 because I stopped watching wrestling when I came back when I came back after not watching wrestling for so long I'm like I'm still seeing a fan and then I watch him for about a month and I'm like oh god this guy is so awful he can't wrestle nothing against Cena fans or uh Cena himself just I'm, I'm not a fan uh we have this one I you, I still wear this one like it does not fit at all but I'll still put it a squeeze into it and go hey that, that's my uh that's me making fun of my former self uh that's not me making fun of Cena fans or Cena himself uh let's see what else we got these two are actually the same shirt. It's Rise Above Hate one uh, when he fought Kane in February 2000. I don't even remember that. That was like February. I knew it was in February. I cannot not remember the year. Maybe it was 2000, 2012. I don't know how I can remember that day, but I remember these shirts. So I got two of them. They screwed up and sent me two by mistake. I got this one. Never give up. <laughs> 10 years strong. You guys got to go check out Heelbook. They're not a sponsor or anything. But Heelbook, they have the same exact t-shirts and it says, just give up. It's been 12 years and it has Cena crying. <laughs> and on the back it says, you can't see me like all these shirts. Uh, and then here, here's the last one in this stack. It doesn't fit anymore either. It, but it actually does have the WWF logo. That's weird to find actually a shirt where they didn't like take the F off and it's just like, it says the old school logo, but it actually has an F on it. Uh, these smaller shirts like this, they don't fit anymore. Like the Superstars one and stuff. Uh, I got these at Kmart for like, I don't know. I think they were like fifteen dollars each, or maybe they're ten. Uh, okay, now we're gonna get into the stack that of shirts you ha you guys have seen me wearing, and I can actually still wear them. Okay, the first shirt I'm gonna show you in the stack is, well, you saw the back. See, they, they make shirts with like this is on the back and this is on the, or yeah, the, this is on the front and this is on the back. But uh, 
I got the reverse one, I guess. I don't know. On the front, it says All SN316, and on, on the back, it says Stone Cold. When I actually bought this shirt from WWE Shop, I got it on clearance, and I thought it just said Austin 316. I thought it just had a regular black uh, black back. I, uh, it was a very pleasant surprise when I unboxed it, and it said uh, had the skull on the back. That was pretty cool. I actually have the lamp of Stone Cold, too. You can go back and see my old room tour if you want to see that lamp. Uh, I need to put these somewhere else. I guess put them way over there. Um, I unboxed this one very recently. Uh, in my, like my last unboxing, it says, King of Swing, Cesaro! And on the back it says Cesaro. Okay, let me do the thing. Uh, I can't deal with the shirt. But anyway, um, Cesaro shirt. I got that one. Most of these shirts I have, I got, I got them in clearance. But when I go to a WWE event, like, they don't have a clearance section. So I have to buy them, like, $30 each. Like, they used to be, like, $25. And then they started charging, like, how much the WWE shop would charge for, like, shipping and tax and stuff. Uh, this shirt I actually wear more than most of these shirts. It says, Macho Man, oh yeah, Macho Man, Randy Savage. <laughs> Isn't that an awesome shirt? I got this one for uh, 15, 16. It was in that ballpark. This is one of my favorites. Sick! Woo, 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 you know it. <laughs> That's an awesome shirt. I actually paid full price for that one too. Uh, this one was, like, really cheap. I think I got this one for, like, $5. Um, on the front, it says, Hulkamania comes home. And on the back, it says, Still running wild, established 1984. Isn't that awesome? That's an awesome shirt. Uh, I mean, I don't actually have, the, like, the normal Hulkamania shirt. I need to get one of those. Or one that says Hulk rules or something. Uh, this shirt, I haven't worn this one in a while. I don't know why. Uh, it says, oh, Well, I always pick them up at the back. It's too bad. I'm too good. <laughs> Isn't that awesome one? Uh, pink. This is actually the first pink shirt I've ever owned. And that Cesaro one's actually the first yellow shirt I've ever owned. I had this one at the Raw when I went to Knoxville. Uh, Knoxville Raw in May 2014. Uh, anyway, on the front it has a bunch of superstars. And on the back it says, I was there in the Knoxville one. There's no way in hell you guys are going to be able to see this. But it's the third one down, Knoxville. If you have like a 2014 event shirt, uh, the ones before May, then you can see the Knoxville date on there. Um, uh, see what else. Okay, I got these at WrestleMania 29 when I went, uh, in, uh, that was in, uh, MetLife Stadium in Rutherford, New Jersey. New York, New Jersey. I got the chair right here. If you're wondering why I got the Kmart chair, I did not sit, like, close, like, row, uh, five or closer, or maybe, what was it, row 20 or closer for Mania or something? I didn't sit that close, but I got the chair. I was, like, um, I was on, like, uh, I was on, uh, the second part of the floor. Like, I wasn't on, uh. I was in section 100. I was a bit closer than section 100 for Mania. But nonetheless, I got a Rock and Cena shirt. WrestleMania 29, April 7, 2015, WWE Championship. On the back it says Rock and Cena has the Mania logo. I like how they put the logo here. Um, so that shirt. And then this shirt would go with it. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I wear this one a lot when I do like uh, Russell. When I did my WrestleMania predictions, I'll wear this uh, in that video. It says WrestleMania, New York, New Jersey. On the back it says, I was there for 7 2013 it has the old wwe logo i wonder if any, any of this stuff with all, like i have so much crap with the old wwe logo like they made so much stuff i don't think it's gonna be worth anything um see we have a cm punk shirt it says best 434 days 434 days as your reigning defending undisputed wwe champion and on the back it says best in the world <laughs> That's a cool shirt. Uh, I think I paid full. Do I pay full price for this? I can't remember. It's like one of the last things I bought of CM Punk. Uh, here we have the most sick shirt I've ever seen. Look at this Randy Orton shirt. I think he's still wearing this one. This one's like a current one. I did pay full price for this one too. Venom. Look at that freaking skull or whatever that's supposed to be. That's awesome. And on the back it says, "In my veins, Venom. In my veins." That's awesome. Uh, this one's pretty cool. These are the same prices as the authentic t-shirts. I get this one when I went to Night of Champions. Now, as you notice, the over-the-limit chairs and the Night of Champions chairs are not Kmart chairs because they don't make them for Kmart. Kmart doesn't make the Kmart chairs for these, or the pay-per-view chairs. Anyway, I actually set, uh, let's see, for over-the-limit, I set row three, and then for Night of Champions, I set row five, and I got these chairs. Like, I uh, almost didn't get these, but I actually did. Uh, but this shirt, this shirt goes with these chairs, and I, the poster goes with the chairs, and I have a DVD, so pretty much got the whole Night of Champions thing. I've got the Over the Limit chairs, Over the Limit poster, and Over the Limit DVDs, but I forgot to get a t-shirt for this. But anyway, uh, here it is. It says, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Lesnar versus Cena. 
WWE Night of Champions and has him F5ing Cena. Uh, I think this was taken at SummerSlam, taken at SummerSlam. And on the back, he has all the matches. Uh, isn't that awesome? Look at that. Reigns and Ra uh, Reigns and Rollins. Remember, Reigns couldn't have the match, and Dean Ambrose returned and everything. That was awesome. Um, so, yeah, and then I have... Uh, now, uh, these are probably some of my favorite t-shirts. We have the... Steph! 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 And on the back... And on the back, this is supposed to be... What is that? A, what in the hell is that supposed to be? Like, Triple H's logo? Like, I know that's Triple H's logo. I've never seen the white, whatever, lion? Little dragon or something? I don't know. Cerebral Assassin. I don't know about that. <laughs> um, then we have Daniel Bryan, my favorite wrestler. I'm, well, I'm going to get that plaque one day. I, I swear I am. Uh, yes! 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 I wore this one. This is actually my uh, picture for YouTube, if you look at my profile picture or whatever it's called. On the back it says, Daniel Bryan! Miss Steph kind of copy in this one. That was cool to get. Those both. Um, let's see. Uh, I got this one recently. I had to pay full price for this one too. Uh, it has him doing the yes. I don't know. What do you call this? Is there a word for this? Just going yes. And on the back it says, yes! <laughs> okay. Um, now here's our former, former reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Heavyweight champion of the world, Barack Lesnar, eat, sleep, conquer John Cena. I was there for that match, by the way. And I get the plaque for that one, too. And on the back, it says, Paul Heyman guy, mark that crap out and put beast. That's an awesome shirt. Uh, and then see what else. We got some more Lesnar ones. Look at that F5. F5 shirt. That's a cool shirt. If you, you, I mean, you could literally just stare at the shirt for uh, like, like an hour. And then on the back, it says... F, and it has the five where the S is supposed to be beast. And the last shirt, I paid full price for this one too. I got this, uh, or I get this raw. Yeah, the raw one too, uh, a couple months ago. I got the new one. WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Beast Incarnate. Back to break more. This shirt is of the rainy. I don't want to. I don't want to have to say that again for you guys. But anyway, that's my t-shirt collection. I will tell you that I am missing a bunch of t-shirts. I, I don't know where they are. I've looked in all my, uh, all the rooms uh, here at my house, so I have no idea where they went. Maybe they disappeared. Maybe somebody broke in and stole a few Cena shirts. Because I think I had. Yeah, I had the red Cena shirt. I don't know where that went. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it so much, guys. And this is your WWE Shop Champion. Can I? Will it sit there? No. This is your WWE Shop Champion reminding you. To go check out my social media links in the description down below. That means like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. And if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, as soon as I get the notification on my phone, I follow you back. And I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this channel for all my WWE exclusive content. WWE news, rumors, predictions, unboxings. I can't do everything I do. Just hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it so much, guys. And thanks for watching this video. And this is your WWE shop champion saying, if you guys suck around, I'm going to do a treat for you. I'm putting all the t-shirts on my face. Uh, they're heavier than you would think they would be. Uh, okay, instead of putting them on my face, why don't I just... Oh, yeah, I'll just take a nap here. <laughs> that'll be the thumbnail. I bet that'll be the thumbnail. I'll have to decide. Oh, God, get out of the way. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. Subscribe, and if you want to connect with me, you can do that through Twitter and Instagram and Facebook if you'd like. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> I'm out of breath now. Those are heavy. And this is your WWE Shop Champion saying, I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>